Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, out here that's pushing his truth and truth sincerity. I'm the brother I know from the GMS Atlanta Church, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So, uh, see here, man, you just got more witchcraft going on, put out by, um, you know, Esau Edom. This uh, congressional Democrats criticized for wearing kente cloth at honoring George Floyd. And this is just a further attempt to further uh, push that black narrative on you so-called uh, Negroes. All right. Thinking you're black, you know, this Black Lives Matter thing and taking taking the knee. You know, I find it, you know, scriptures say that's the, uh, be ignorant of saves devices. So we're just going to get right into that scripture, man. I'm not going to read this article, man. They, I mean, I'm going to read a little bit of it. It says, um, Congressional Democrats wore stoles made of kente cloth during a moment of silence for George Floyd, drawing criticism from observers who felt they made the, the traditional African textile into a political prop. And that's all I'm going to read on that. All right, so they pushing that African stuff on you, man, when the truth is coming out that we're not African. Although we do have some of our people there, all right, they are... Truly, indeed, not African, man. All right, so I'm just going to get into some scriptures, and Lord willing, you be edified. And our people, they need this comfort, man, you know, um, about, the, about the truth of the Bible, and they're on enemy territory. This is Lamentations 4 and 17. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help, and watching, we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. So... And a lot of these countries tomorrow is like the primary voting. And ultimately, this is, a um, you know, one of them PR stunts to get you Negroes to vote Democratic again, as always. All right. But uh, verse 18, they hunt our steps that we cannot go on our streets. That's how what happened, so-called happened to George Floyd. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end has come. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of, he of the heaven. They pursued us. Upon the mountains, they lay wait for us in the wilderness, all right? But uh, this is what our people do, all right? This is, um, instead of coming back to the Heavenly Father, this is what they do. Psalm 62 and 10, it says, uh, Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. All right, so our people trust in oppression. The scriptures say, trust not in oppression. And oppression is coming from... Esau eat him the self proclaimed white man, all right? But then he puts that witchcraft to get our people thinking that they're actually going to do something for them, all right? But that's oppression, all right? And our people, like I said, they're going to go vote in these states. Uh, voting, you're just voting for more oppression. You're voting for more George Floyds or uh, uh, what's that guy's name, Eric Gardner. You, you, you're going for that, you know? You're voting for more oppression, all right? Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift is short of the heart. All right? Different programs of the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Because, you know, you go back, there's no new thing under the sun. All right? You had the same thing in ancient Rome. You had the uh, patricians, which are the, uh, the well-to-do rich Romans. And then you had the plebeians, which were like the working lower class and it kind of the plebeians kind of remind me of uh, the Democrats. They appeal to the poor. All right, who's the poor? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But our people destroyed, um, you know, by this Democratic Party because that's all they're going to vote for, man. And I got a quote from uh, the president that uh, succeeded uh, JFK, LBJ, and he said he has something to say about the so-called Negro and uh, voting uh, Democratic. All right. And they they they've been using this same oppression to, uh, you know, basically blind our people, man. So now they're just telling you to take a knee, and our people think that that's just the way to go, all right. But you know, back to Esau. We just see that this is witchcraft, man. This is Second Corinthians two, and eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." All right, kneeling down. All right, that's a, a Masonic ritual, man. And you start, it's something, that, something starting to add up. First, you had Colin Kaepernick, which makes you think, you know, this is all set up because 
He had Kyle Kaepernick that took the knee. Now he's being he was vilified. Now he's the hero now. And it just seems like one big story Esau is using this deception, this witchcraft. Now, you know, they kneeled down on um they kneeled down on uh so called uh, George Floyd's neck and that Masonic pose on thirty third street. You know, it's a lot of witchcraft going on uh in America coming from the so called white man. The scriptures talk about that. All right, all this kneeling down. You know, I just find it, you know, a coincidence that, you know, this guy Kaepernick was kneeling and then George Floyd neck <laughs> basically got kneeled on. Now they're kneeling for him. You know, it goes back to these uh Masonic rituals, all right. And people are just uh, thinking, you know, what they see on TV is real. So this is Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. What is the bloody city of America? All right, ask the Native Americans. Ask the so-called Negro when he came over in slavery. Ask the so-called Latinos who got driven out of their land. All right? It is all full of lies and robbery. What you see on TV is lies and robbery. The prey the part of not. Who's the prey? You Israelites. You still got your... Slave uh, master's last name. You, you you spend money with your slave master on it, okay? The noise of a the noise of a whip and the noise of a rattling of the wheels and the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear, and there is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses because of the multitude of whoredoms. Of the well f favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts, and that's talking about America that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. All right, and best believe when they do these uh, psyops. All right, it's basically a big Masonic ritual, which you see on TV. Basically, verse five: Behold, I am against thee, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness. And the kingdoms are shame, and that's starting to happen right now because countries like China, Iran, are really starting to look down in the United States. Like this is this is the country that had us in subjection for all these years. The big bad wolf on the block, they can't even control, uh, you know, protests in their own country. So who the hell are they? All right, the Lord is just the Lord is uh, exposing Esau, Edom. All right, and this new modern day Basra, which was America. All right. So let's go to Isaiah 47. You know, there's all types of signs, man. There was a flag that was, uh, um, I, I guess it was during the middle of a storm. It was tattered up and torn. And then you had you had the uh, lightning descending upon the White House. So there's all types of signs that this place is going down, man. It's just that these uh, witches and these warlocks on the left-hand side, you know, with the elite banking families, man, that, that that stuff is starting, that witchcraft is starting to uh, run out, all right? Our people are waking up, but two-thirds, they're still under these, uh, they're still under the hypnosis spell, Esau, Edom, with this believing they black, and, you know, somehow, some way, everything is going to be cool, and no, <laughs> they're setting you up. The same people that's kneeling down at the White House is the same one who's drawing the legislation to put you in a concentration camp, okay? So don't fall for the witchcraft and the foolery, man. Don't fall with, don't believe what you see on TV. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. That's talking about America. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. And when you go to the Chaldeans, when you do the research, they were known for a lot of witchcraft and astrology and, and sorcery. All right? Same thing going on in America. For thou shalt be no more called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Verse 3, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen, and I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. All right, so America is slowly but surely getting exposed, man. All right, you got Edomites, that, hey, other Edomites. There was a clip that a brother put in a group text of a so-called white girl. She got kicked out of her house because... Her parents not to told her not to support Black Lives Matter. You know, this place is being uncovered. All right? It's being exposed by Yahweh Bashim Shai. All right? And, and through his prophets that have been telling you for years this thing was going to happen. Okay? So that that's basically the end on that, man. But I just want to show something real quick, too. You know, for our people, man.
Uh, yeah. This is a quote from uh, Lyndon Bain Johnson. All right, the guy who succeeded uh, who succeeded at JFK. Let's read this. It says, um, "I have those niggers voting Democratic for the next two hundred years," and that's what our people do, man. They vote Democratic because they're just simply being led to the slaughter, man. All right. It says, "Real home of racism is the is Democratic Party." I mean, both of them are both of them are devils. Okay. Um, let me get that scripture in Revelation too. But let's read. It. Let's continue to read this right quick. The Republican Party was founded specifically to abolish slavery. The Republican Party was founded specifically to abolish slavery. The KKK became the work, became the terrorist arm of the Democratic Party. Neither Democratic presidents Woodrow Wilson nor Franklin Delano Roosevelt nor Harry Truman could have won elections without the help of the KKK. The natural Home of racism is the Democratic Party. So I don't, you know, but what this guy said, uh, LBJ, it says, I'll have those niggers voting Democratic for the next 200 years. All right? So this is what you get when it comes to Esau Edom, man. All right? He doesn't like you at the end of the day, and he doesn't have your best interests at heart. So this is Revelation um, 13 and 11, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon and that goes into Esau you know trying to tell you it's okay to vote democratic but this, these are the people that'll tell you I'll have these niggas voting too, democratic for the next 200 years or whatever they're gonna have continue to have you oppressed man and these parties they have the democrats and republicans you know the democrats they try to favor they try to favor so called blacks but this is out of their mouths man you're voting for you're voting for two evils, all right. So they try to speak speak smooth, smooth things, but in their heart, man, they 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 are on all this legislation to uh you know destroy you. So hey, with that, a hey, Lord, when I was edifying, to next time I'm gonna say shalom.